Welcome to Mobile World Congress 2022. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content for Telecom TV. For enterprises, remote working and the hybrid workplace are becoming the norm. And that means an increased interest in using SD-WAN to create cloud-first strategies. Well, joining me now is Will Eberall, who is Assistant Vice President for Product Management at AT&T. And Will leads AT&T's virtual edge portfolio of market-leading solutions utilizing SDN, NFE, and SD-WAN technologies. Will, welcome, very pleased to meet you. Now, in early 2020, the world changed and enterprises had to quickly deploy solutions to support their immediate remote working needs. Now, here we are two years later and remote working is here to stay, but enterprises are getting wiser about their requirements. How do you see SD-WAN being incorporated into their strategic remote working solutions? And also, will the hybrid workplace become the norm for most enterprises? Yeah, great question, Guy. Um, so let me tackle that that second piece first. And my answer to that is is absolutely. I think there's there's significant value for enterprises to continue to look at the hybrid worker and how you know how can you continue to leverage that from an overall efficiency perspective. I think most businesses saw a lot of productivity in this environment. Um, the whole industry is changing around it as well. So I think um, being able to track talent on a broader geog geography perspective, there's multiple factors that I think make it attractive um, and, and is really gonna keep it here long-term. Um, to the first piece of your question, more around the technology and SD-WAN specifically, I'll say, you know, we have not seen a lot of adoption with SD-WAN in the inter enterprise yet. And I'll say yet because I still think there is great value. Um, when you think about the technology in general, it's a great fit for that upper tier hybrid worker. So when I see upper tier from a value perspective of, you know, to the business, the, the, the knowledge worker that requires um, high levels of performance for video, voice. So think of your contact center agents, think of legal, think of consulting as a couple of industries that I think it makes a lot of sense for. Um, but I don't, like I mentioned, I don't see it being a fit for everyone. Um, and I think there has to be some evolution to the actual devices themselves. I think from a functionality, from a value perspective, it was traditionally built more for that enterprise branch. So reducing the form factor, getting it to a cost point that's attractive for a single user, um, integration in with mobility, 5G is a secondary path to your home broadband that'll increase the performance and release the reliability for those critical users and applications. Um, and then think about Wi-Fi, advanced Wi-Fi, extension off your corporate Wi-Fi network at home. I think those are some other elements that from a feature perspective will really help drive adoption in that upper tier. Um, but the other element to this is really that software client. So I think majority of the hybrid workers will still use some type of secure remote connectivity we're seeing a lot of traction in zero trust network access as that software client that kind of complements the SD-WAN for that upper tier. So I think the, the future really involves kind of both those two elements, um, SD-WAN for the upper tier, zero trust network more for that kind of um, middle to, to um, lower tier. Okay, thanks, Will. How does AT&T SD-WAN with Silverpeak at and collaboration with Aruba, strengthen your SD-WAN portfolio and your edge services. And how does the offer meet the emerging trends of a cloud-first enterprise? For example, you know, the increasing use of cloud on-ramp services and automation or integrations to SaaS, AWS, and Azure. Yeah, no, we're, we're thrilled to have, you know, both of those elements as part of our, our broader portfolio. And, and, when you think about it, there's there's really three big areas of transformation happening. There's great transformation um, happening in the LAN side with advanced wireless and, and Wi-Fi and analytics. There's great transformation happening, obviously, on the network side with next generation networking and SD-WAN. And then there's great transformation happening with security, this whole convergence of network and security with Secure Access Service Edge. So, um, the combination of you know, our expertise and what we're doing with Aruba and that advanced Wi-Fi space for land transformation, um, this has been a big area of focus and helping a lot of enterprises on a global scale there. And then you know, in the network space with next generation networking, you know, we're a market leader in SD-WAN and being able to provide you know, great value in global transformation with customers there. Silver Peak, a great complement to that portfolio 
having unique functionality, especially when you talked about kind of cloud on ramp and you know SaaS applications. Silver Peak has some unique functionality as it relates to SaaS and private SaaS applications for certain enterprises. And I think when you combine those two together, there's a natural convergence happening between being able to integrate or profile certain applications and honor policy into the network and into those workloads. So I think the combination of a managed service provider that has the expertise and a partner that has technology that spans that, that, that continuum is really, really important. The other element here is, you know, SD-WAN is a perfect complement to really fuel and help businesses back to that, that cloud on-ramp and SaaS um, transformation that's going on. And the workloads are becoming heavily distributed. So you need to be able to support, um, you know, different, different aspects of that head end from an SD-WAN into this, this distributed multi-cloud environment. The other layer to that, as I mentioned, is cloud security. So AT&T, um, a, a global leader in managed security services. So being able to integrate the right cloud security elements into the next generation networking and into those LAN elements kind of provides that full wrapper end to end to really help our enterprise businesses simplify that, that technology continuum. So let's look ahead a few years now. And What does the future of SD-WAN, Wi-Fi, network security, cloud on-ramp and the edge service environment look like in 2022 and beyond? It's always fun, Guy, to, to look into that future and, and try to predict it. Um, very dynamic space, um, a lot happening, and it really follows kind of similar comments to my previous question of, you know, lots of transformation happening in LAN, networking and security. And I think, you know, the key here is when you think about that, those, those elements, um, a lot of it right now is kind of separate um, policy management, visibility, orchestration. So when I think about the opportunity, it's really the convergence um, of, uh, of the technologies across those different, those different aspects. So convergence of orchestrators into a, a master orchestrator, convergence of the policies that I'm managing across networking, LAN, and into my cloud security. So if you can converge a lot of those and integrate them, I think that creates one, a lot of value for the enterprise business, and two, from a managed service provider, it simplifies in how we're, we're proactively managing and monitoring a lot of these, these different technology continuums. Um, the other aspect of that is once you drive that convergence, um, it also creates a lot of opportunity to layer in additional elements of machine learning and intelligence uh, across these different areas. So now if I've got the ability to look at different traffic patterns of users and how the, the applications are, are performing against the underlay network, um, and I can apply ways to, to predict or analyze certain elements that are be behaving in a bad manner and alert as a managed service provider, being able to take action on some of those alerts and look at it broader across, like I said, networking, LAN and security to make policy changes to improve maybe that application or that end user experience or address a threat that we're seeing based on cer certain traffic patterns across that whole, whole aspect. So I think the, the element of the convergence, I think the er er element of applying you know, machine learning and AI into these aspects creates a lot of opportunity. The other area as a managed service provider, right? We're already providing capabilities across security across networking and across LAN. So now the convergence of our own operations teams also streamlines the, the value to our enterprise businesses. So thinking of delivery in day two in that integrated manner are some of the, the uh, additional work that we're doing in addition as we start to see these, these areas start to converge. Well, it sounds like a very promising future. Will, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your views. Thank you, Guy.